Now imagine within seconds, an entire nation completely blacked out. That's exactly what happened in Venezuela over a month ago. And now the people who are suffering the most are the ones in hospital beds holding on to their lives. Labs and medical equipment have been out of operation for months, and now the blackout has worsened their situation. There is no sanitation, no water, little power, and shortages in medicine and supplies. In the U.S., Venezuelan nationals cannot imagine the patient suffering. Roberta Hurtado worries about the fate of Venezuelans. She says her home country needs peaceful intervention for those in need. I do think that there does need to be continued aid being sent into the country. And I do wish that there was more intervention on part of the UN. Dr. Alejandro Crespo was fired and authorities attempted to arrest him after he met with the UN to bring attention to those conditions. As the mothers, and they're not going to lie to you, they have their kids dying in a hospital bed because of lack of medicine and they can do nothing. Parents in Venezuela plead for the health of their children as the political conflict in the nation continues. The Red Cross announced that it was given permission by Nicolas Maduro and Juan Guaido to implement a relief campaign in Venezuela, which is expected to ease the humanitarian crisis in the nation. For New Scene, Yaquira Delgadillo.